Royal Marines from 40 Commando learning how to drive the M-Razor D4. Anyone could, could jump in one of these now and they'll just bury it. They're being put through their paces at Braunton Burrows in North Devon, one of the largest sand dune systems in the UK. It's high ground, low ground, bogs. It's all about mastering the basics first. It's exhausting. It's, it really is exhausting. As Royal Marines move to work in light strike teams with a smaller footprint, these vehicles could carry teams of commandos deep into enemy territory. Royal Marines have notoriously uh, walked everywhere, carrying everything they need to, but with the rest of the world upping their operational capacity, we've had to do the same and match them. Um, so therefore, instead of walking for miles and miles and miles, we can now employ lightweight uh, mobility assets to carry us as a team of four or a team of eight, team of 12, depending on how many platforms you have, and uh, to a certain level of kit as well. Um, now, if you put that into mortar teams, recce teams, uh, heavy weapons teams, um, with the multi-skilled Royal Marines that we have nowadays, you're putting quite lethal assets in lots of difficult or normally difficult places to put them. The M Razor is compact but robust. It can easily be transported by ship or by helicopter. It can reach speeds of 60 miles per hour and has a turbo diesel engine so it can go further for longer. These vehicles have an on-demand all-wheel drive and each wheel can move freely of each other due to an independent suspension system. Which makes them perfect for off-roading but more complex to drive. Anyone can get in a car and drive in a straight line. Anyone can get in an automatic car and push the accelerator pedal and go forward or reverse. Um, however, with these machines, it's all about how, uh, with the new diesel version, you have more torque, uh, i.e. wheel turning power, and that can put you up places, or you have a high range, so more power, less torque. Um, the all-wheel all -wheel drive on demand system and how that works. Um, and if you don't know these things, you're not gonna get very far at all. So that's why we spend a lot of time doing the basics and learning how the machine works before we start putting on big features or trying to attempt uh, more arduous terrain. See the track? We're gonna follow the track round. That's better control, that's better. For 40 Commandos Vanguard Strike Company, the training will continue in California later this year to experiment with these vehicles to see whether they're fit for future commando operations. What we've done is um, asked the, the special forces out there that are currently using them, sort of took away their the lessons learned, so identified in terms of training as well as the capability as well. So uh, as well as we're going to trial and test the, these vehicles as well, especially out in America in October. So 29 Palms, their, their training areas are very large, pretty much the same size as uh, to Wales. Um, the country and it's, it's clearly a lot hotter out there. The terrain's a lot arduous, a bit more rocky and a little bit more challenging. So we're sort of trialling and experimenting the, the different types of capability we can use, see if they're actually fit for purpose for what we need uh, as a commando force. It's all part of the transformation of the UK's commando force, how best to defeat adversaries in a changing battle space. And for those trialling new kit and equipment like the M Razor, it's pretty compelling. So I'll be quite lucky. I've used them quite a lot in the past. Um, and I sort of jumped at the chance when I realised we were all Marines we were getting them. But they're used by uh, all sorts of higher tier operators around the world. Um, and that's why now we're now using them to sort of match that higher tier operator uh, and training alongside them as well as training in line with the SOPs that they will use or their standard operating procedures. Uh, that way we have room for cross training as well, which we've not had in the past. Royal Marines are working more with special forces and intelligence agencies and will also be permanently deployed in Northern Europe and the Far East. Making sure they have the right technology and equipment is vital. The M Razor could well be the next addition to commando forces as they continue to evolve. Briony Williams, Forces News, Braunton Burrows, Devon.